The AMAC Foundation Veteran Outreach Program is honored to welcome an authentic American patriot to our growing program. Robert Charles is AMAC's national spokesperson with a distinguished history of service to the nation. Among his career distinctions, Mr. Charles served as staff member in the Reagan and Bush 41 administrations and later as Assistant Secretary of State under Colin Powell. From 1998 to 2009, he served as Naval Intelligence Officer. His resume includes serving as Staff Director and Chief Counsel for the Subcommittee on National Security, International Affairs, and Criminal Justice, and as Senior Staffer to the Speaker's Task Force on a Drug-Free America and U.S. House Bipartisan Drug Policy Group. A noted author, his many published works include the 2004 book, Narcotics and Terrorism, covering security implications tied to drug trafficking, and Eagles and Evergreens, a 2018 publication based on his interaction with World War II veterans while growing up in Maine, Mr. Robert Charles. Hello, I just wanted to introduce myself. Uh, I am Robert Charles, national spokesman for AMAC and uh, spent 10 years as a naval intelligence officer. And I really wanted to just say a word about how important, how vital the uh, veteran outreach effort uh, uh, an initiative that the foundation has pushed forward is. And I want to tell you a little bit about that initiative so that you can understand what's really behind it. Dan Weber, who founded AMAC 15 years ago, was himself an Air Force veteran uh, and had his own uh, distinctions in that regard. But he also had an enormous appreciation for the role of veterans in America today. Today, less than 7% of this country uh, are veterans. And yet those veterans are why we have all the freedoms we have. And less than 1% of the country is currently on active duty. And yet were it not for them, uh, we would have no security at all. So to a very few, to paraphrase Winston Churchill, a great deal uh, is, is, is owed. A little bit more about what AMAC is all about and why it is so closely aligned with uh, you as a veteran and anyone that you know who is a veteran. The first part is that we have roughly 30, 31 percent of our membership who are veterans. And that speaks a lot to the values that we advocate and to the to the purpose that gets us up in the morning. Seventy five percent of our membership, based on polling, is uh, has a veteran in the family. And so if you think about what is all American beyond motherhood and apple pie, it's being a veteran and it's and it's serving veterans and helping veterans in every way that they need it. Another thing that people don't realize is it ranges from jobs to medical benefit access. It's a it's a it's a wide range of issues that that uh, AMAC uh, provides, and in fact, that the foundation through this outreach effort provide three right off the top. First of all, obviously, we're constantly updating people. If you're involved in this effort, you understand we're being up, you're updated on what Congress is doing, the bills that are being dropped, the regulations that are affecting you, the VA regulations, all the things that we kind of don't have time to know, but AMAC tracks. And knows and that you know because you're involved in this effort. The second thing is benefits. I think obviously there's an awful lot that relates to the how-to part of what does it mean uh, to make sure that you have access and information when it comes to benefits. And the third thing is just the issue discussion. I find that just talking and listening to Jerry and others involved in this effort, you understand some of the issues that are percolating that otherwise you wouldn't you wouldn't really have a uh, you wouldn't have any connection to. So I, I want to end with a couple of other quick thoughts. You know uh, we. We often think of what we do in life as minimal. Uh, we we tend to undervalue what we do in general, and I think uh, and and veterans are are notorious for that. We go out, we do our duty, we come home, and we then get back to work and taking care of our families and and struggling with the uh, the issues that everybody else struggles with. But we also have something else there, and you know. Um, George C. Marshall uh, famously said that one of the most important aspects of uh, I'm going to start right there again, Jerry. Um, no George C. Marshall uh, famously noted that the solar, soldier's heart and spirit and soul are the most important part of winning and of leading and being aware of those. The same thing is true of a veteran. We come back home and we carry inside us whatever it is that uh, that motivated us on the first in the first hand to go away. Uh, the World War II vets, the Vietnam War vets, the Korean War vets, the Afghanistan, Gulf One, Gulf Two, Iraq vets. We uh, everyone who has ever worn the uniform and signed a page to knows that there's something going on inside you that isn't going on inside other people. And I think what we have to do is remember that that uh, heart and spirit and soul are just as important 
for, for to be kind of made aware of and remembered uh, for veterans as they are for a soldier himself. The other thing I'll note is that Colin Powell, uh, for whom I worked, uh, said that uh, everything that that we do really boils down, I'm paraphrasing, but everything we do boils down to leadership. So I think one of the things you have to remember is you can be a leader by being part of this foundation. You can be a leader by bringing people to the foundation. If you're a service organization listening to this, you can be a leader by working together with AMAC to try to elevate these issues. And at the end of the day, you know, uh, I, I don't want to overplay the, the, the very famous quote by Edmund Burke, but I'll say it anyway. All it takes for evil to prevail is good people to do nothing. And all it takes for us to forget what matters most is to sort of sit on our hands and not get involved. And so my plea to you today is to step up, stand up, as you did at some other point probably in life, and remember that the values that brought you to the fight in the first place are just as important today, fighting for veterans and shoulder to shoulder with other veterans to save this country uh, at a time when we are under incredible pressure, uh, I think is a, is a cause to get up every morning for. And I encourage you to do it, I do it, and uh, Jerry does it, and frankly, those that are involved in this foundation and this outreach effort understand that were it not for our veterans, there would be no America. So have a great day, stay with the program, and uh, do what you can while you can.